Man, what am I still doing here? They were supposed to send some blue-skinned alien girl with three tits to suck my soul out through my groin and teleport me to some other dimension. But uh, since I'm still here, there's been a very popular news story over the past week, I think worldwide, you know, not just Canada, not just America. Thousand-stage peaceful protest in Ottawa against Canada's mandates. Thousands held a loud but peaceful protest in Canada's capital, Ottawa, on Saturday against Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's mandates on the streets and snow-covered lawn in front of Parliament. The so-called Freedom Convoy started out as a rally of truckers against a requirement for cross-border drivers, but turned into a demonstration against government overreach. So what's this about? More supply chain shortage fear-mongering? The government is intentionally keeping shelves empty to scare people, and they just point fingers at these protesters you know, as the reason. It's like a pet owner blaming the monthly dog groomer if their pet starves to death because they forgot to feed him. You know, it's completely ridiculous. Of course we know it's controlled opposition. It's a fake protest. An excellent quote is, the revolution will not be televised. And we've seen the media blatantly ignore dozens of incredibly large protests around the world over the past two years. What makes this one different? Are they trying to pretend like people are against the government so that they can pull the rug and back off on the mandates? Are they just going to lock down even harder after they give people a glimpse of hope that this nonsense is going to end? The policies and day-to-day -day stuff has not changed. Passports and these masks are still required in most places. Earlier this week, Trudeau said the convoy represented a small fringe minority who do not represent the views of Canadians. About 90% of Canada's cross-border truckers and 77% of the population have had two shots. Trudeau announced a mandate for federal workers on the eve of the October election. Then last month, Canada and the United States imposed one for cross-border truckers. I mean, the articles don't make him seem too concerned, yet he fled his home. Justin Trudeau and his family flee the Canadian capital for a secret location amid security concerns as 50,000 mandate Freedom Convoy truckers March days after being dismissed as a small fringe minority. What's hilarious is the clowns in charge always stick to the divide and conquer plan, separating left and right, saying completely ridiculous stuff to spark a reaction and get people arguing amongst each other. These types of groups are typically driven by attitudes, grievances, and priorities of such a nature that they pose a particular risk to racialized folks and other groups that are traditionally the target of hate and violence. I'd call the convoy a canary in a coal mine, but the bird is long dead. For instance, we've known for some time that online right-wing extremism is on the rise in Canada as hate crimes continue to grow. So basically, you're racist because you don't want a government-mandated medical procedure to bar you from making a living for yourself and your family. Some people were even saying that some plants were holding like Confederate flags in the crowd to discredit the movement. The gaslighting is almost as bad as an article I saw yesterday. 300,000 Brits living with heart condition that could kill within five years. Without prompt treatment, it's estimated that up to 173,000 will die from aortic valve stenosis over the next five years to 2024. This is so ridiculous. It's insane. Imagine if after that Fukushima nuclear disaster in Japan where all the radioactive waste was leaking into the ocean, that they started publishing news articles about a mysterious illness making people sick when they eat fish. <laughs> the general public is so naive and brainwashed, they won't put two and two together, literally spelled out in people's faces. Most don't want to stand up for themselves and do anything. So they'll just take blow after blow until they're defeated. Since all of those other protests weren't covered, intentionally kept out of the news, and now they want some people to know about this, I'm assuming it's just some false hope to keep people 
from actually protesting themselves. There's another famous quote, the best way to counter the opposition is to lead it yourself. And what gets brought up a lot, although it's one of the best analogies for this, you know, when 9-11 happened and airport security became ridiculous, it never went back to normal. You know, they said it was temporary, but no. And you weren't there to witness the towers going down. You weren't there to see the past two, three, four hundred years of history, what you were taught in school. You don't know what the truth is, because if the government is lying this much now through their control of the media, online platforms, <laughs> they can make up any fake event they want, respond to it with whatever crooked policies, you know, the Hegelian dialectic that we've mentioned dozens of times. They literally just create whatever reality they want. The masses are in some type of abusive relationship with the government and it does not make any sense. Before this all happened, people didn't even trust the government. It was kind of like a necessary evil in the back of people's minds. Oh, these clowns can't even keep the potholes, you know, filled. Yeah. However, with all of the fear mongering, psychological warfare, every single day for years now, and I guarantee you, these psychopathic assholes in charge have done this before with other civilizations through that experience through them doing this over and over and over again they know how to manipulate a massive population to do whatever they want so i guess that's it for today guys you asked for more news and although i didn't want to do it i'm already skating on thin ice with uh, getting warnings from youtube for pointing out correct selling supplements yesterday I had to take that video down unfortunately but thank you guys for joining me you could please drop a like on the video leave a comment down below subscribe to that youtube can unsubscribe me next week and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos therefore please check out frank to support me through all of my businesses thanks again guys and i'll see you for tomorrow